Hey everyone, welcome to another English grammar lesson. Today we're going to be covering several pairs of commonly confused words. Of course, if you're familiar with the channel, you know that we already have a number of these kinds of videos, covering things like your, your, its, its, and whose, whose. So if you're looking for some of those more mainstream pairs or trios, we've definitely got you covered. But the words in this lesson, while they may not be as common as there, 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 or two, 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 are still words that a lot of people struggle with. So we want to talk about them. So without further ado, let's jump right in. So the first set of words we're going to be looking at is among and between. And honestly, this is about as simple as it gets. If you're talking about exactly two things, no more, no less, if you are talking about two things, you use between. I am standing between Jeff and George. The plane flew between those two trees. I hope to score between an 85 and a 95. So for two things, and two things only, we use between. For three or more things, we use among. He is sitting among the flowers, implying that there are three or more flowers. She walked among the students. I am among my friends. So, very simple. You've got two things you use between. You've got three or more things you use among. And the next pair we've got here is farther and further. So both of these words are used to measure distance. However, farther is used with literal, physical distance, distance we can measure. And further is used with more abstract or symbolic distance, distance that cannot be measured. So for farther, and again, that's distance that can be measured, we might say, he can run farther than me because we could measure that distance. Or, Luke's house is farther away than I thought. Or, how much farther into the cave do we have to go? These are all physical distances that can be measured. And of course, this works for height and depth as well. So like, the rocket went farther up than I could see. Or, the submarine cannot descend much farther. If you can measure it in millimeters, inches, feet, kilometers, whatever, then you should use farther. Now we said further is used with distance that cannot be measured. So what does that look like exactly? Well, let's see. Matt is further into the book series than Alex. So like, I guess you could count the number of books or whatever, but it's not like you're actually measuring anything, like with a ruler or something. It's not literal distance you're talking about here, right? Or something like, we need to discuss this further. Or how much further into the unit do we have to go? So again, with physical distance, distance that can be measured, we use farther. And for more abstract or symbolic distance, we use further. And moving on to our last pair, we have fewer and less. And for this one, you have to get very literal. You can't imagine the sentence in your head. You have to actually look at the literal words on the page. So with words that we can count, we use fewer. And with words that we cannot count, we use less. And again, you have to be very literal with this. Let me show you. We have fewer people than we need. Okay, so the word in question here is people, right? And we can count that word. Two people, three people, four people. So, since people is a word that can be counted, we use fewer. Same thing with this. Water has fewer calories than tea. So the word here is calories. This is a word that can be counted. 10 calories, 20 calories. So we use fewer. And this. Sally scored fewer points than Lucy. Again, the word here is points, and we can count those. 40 points, 50 points, whatever. So we use fewer. But watch this. Sam weighs less than Paul. Okay, so you might say, Wait a minute, we can count weight, right, can't we? Pounds, ounces, all that kind of stuff. Yes, you can count pounds. And yes, you can count ounces. But those are not the words that were used. We used the word weighs, and you cannot count that word. And again, this is why you have to be literal. If you said Sam weighs fewer pounds than Paul, 
then that'd be fine, because now you've got the word pounds, which is a word that can be counted. We've got a similar situation here. I have less coffee than you. So you might think that we can count that, right? In cups or liters or something. But again, those are not the words we used. We did not say cups. We did not say liters. We said coffee. And you can't count that word. You cannot say, I have two coffees or I have ten coffees. Now, yes, people do say that as slang when they're like ordering from a restaurant or something. But when used properly, the word coffee is not countable. So again, with words that we can count, we use fewer. Fewer apples, fewer pages, fewer goals, fewer brain cells. And with words that we cannot count, we use less. Less courage, less confidence, less air, less space. And again, you have to be very literal with these. Don't imagine the sentence. Don't focus on the concept. Look at the actual word that is being used and ask yourself if that word is countable. Cool. Well, whether you came here for a refresher or just now learning this stuff for the first time, I hope this video helps. Be sure to check out the free practice down in the description, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.